seems sensible to, um, <clears throat> at this point, isolate floor five uh, to somehow export this model so we can look at it in, th in, in one of the VR uh, platforms. Um, we directly are able to send this to a prospect and not worry about issues of scale. Not the same for spatial. Spatial doesn't seem to recognize the scalar properties of a 3D model and requires you to resize it graphically, which is not precise. You can't do it numerically. You can't type in a number and say this thing is 12 times smaller than it is uh, as you would with an AutoCAD engineering drawing, for example. So we'll, we're going to try several things here. One is to export to AutoCAD, or we can bring it into SketchUp. So we have these assets in different data formats. This will be useful for students in studio who are working in Revit and need to maybe quickly prototype stuff in SketchUp. You can export from Revit to AutoCAD and then bring the AutoCAD into SketchUp. And that's what we're going to do here. Um, So, CAD drawing format, and all I want is a 3D model. So, I'm going to accept current view. Target folder will be the same. I'm going to, yeah, I suppose AutoCAD 2018 will be okay. And that's going to be um, auto, like a AutoCAD a 3D native format. Shouldn't take long because it's not very large and it's fairly efficiently modeled. Now we'll start SketchUp. that centimeter one let's start that again oh bunch of reminders of updating SketchUp. Let's try one one more time. Uh, architectural inch inches, though. That's just to set the project uh, units. We have several add-ons. We have Undead for both Revit and SketchUp that allows us to um, cut up that the point clouds. So um, the Revit model has a point clouds, but exporting the AutoCAD is not going to send that wi with it. To the best of my knowledge, I could be surprised. Um, so now I want to c uh, conduct an import. If we leave her there, the model may uh, not 
be placed on the ground plane, but it's useful for scale. Um, projects. Let's see what happens here. We may have to try this more than once. That wasn't bad, okay? So, let's uh, change to orthographic view. Um, whenever you're trying to do something where you have to measure with any level of exactitude it makes sense to so front oh I guess it did place it on the ground plane so that's the scale model of the fifth floor of the Samia building and if I wanted to modify the properties of I might as well show you stuff that's going to be useful to you in, in studio um, everything imported from AutoCAD is imported into layers, which are now called tags, right? So, and there are co colors and material, uh, default colors associated with it. You may want to s change those, um, for use in, um, in SketchUp or to otherwise generate perspective views or renderings or whatever. I don't want for this lesson to get very long. So what we've done here is take a Revit model of a floor, a single floor, even though we have some other AutoCAD assets here in ele Elevation, export it to AutoCAD and import it into SketchUp. 